They were supposed to be a solution. I think we have over a thousand. But reusable bags have their own problems. Go to the store. Oops, I forgot my reusable bag, but I tell myself that's fine. I'll just buy some more. Megan Bishop says she and two roommates recently tossed nearly 200 bags. Now they've got more. I counted 32 and I gave up. I do definitely think the retailers are should be putting in more effort in finding a solution. Part of the onus is on shoppers to bring their bags. But environmentalists say retailers also need to do their part by adopting circular programs, like the one at this parcel pickup service. Customers return reusable bags bought here and get a rebate. Reuse company Goto washes the bags for resale. Some of these bags that you might be seeing in here might actually be previously loved and used. No major Canadian grocer offers a circular bag program in stores. Goto's co-founder suggests that's because, in part, such programs cut into retailers' profits from selling reusable bags. Reusable bags are a huge, easy profit uh, revenue generator. Big grocers Sobeys and Loblaws did not respond to requests for comment. Walmart says its 33-cent blue bag is not a profit driver and that customers can send these back to be recycled or donated to charity. But that program may become obsolete as Walmart is phasing these out in favour of recycled paper bags. But it's still single use and it still takes energy to recycle that paper. feels like they're really taking the easy way out rather than putting the time into building a real circular system. This environmentalist says the only way to get all retailers to adopt circular solutions is for governments to mandate it. But that could take time, as Canada's plastic bag ban is being contested in court. Sophia Harris, CBC News, Toronto.